In a book called Mind, Brain and Vision, David Hubel writes about the nature of the human brain and says that it must be consonant with physics, or the laws of physics, he says. And he goes on to say that at some point we'll be able to understand the brain in the same way that we understand the printing press. And I think he's wrong there. I think that whilst he's probably right in the first part, that the brain is undoubtedly consonant with the laws of physics, that doesn't necessarily mean that we'll be able to understand it in the same way that we understand the printing press. We might be able to understand it, but if we do, we'll understand it in a very different way. The reason why I think that is because understanding is a function of the brain directly. But if mind and mind and brain have a relationship, it's, I assume, something like what the brain does. It's a, a functional relationship. And the operations of the mind are based on the purpose of the mind involved in the first place, which was to solve survival problems of ourselves, medium-sized mammals, medium-sized social animals. So our mind is tuned to the solution of those problems and the fulfillment of tasks appropriate to ourselves. We don't have minds which are appropriate for the solution of problems which lie outside of that scale or those parameters. Which isn't to say that we can't solve problems. We can routinely solve problems in quantum physics and we can solve problems in social sciences and we can solve problems in astrophysics. But we don't use uh, the same techniques that we use to understand or solve problems at a medium scale. We solve human-sized problems. Well, if we do use physics, we use Newtonian physics, which is very different. But, and to a certain extent, we do sort of embody Newtonian physics. But also, we, um, we understand and solve those problems in a, a, a tactile, direct sense, we have a direct relationship to the um, uh, to the world around us. We are uh, evolutionarily uh, engaged with the world around us uh, at that scale and at those speeds in a way that we're not with very fast, very small, very large things. So to return to David Hubel's quote, the brain, in all likelihood, works not as a Newtonian engine. I don't know if it's got quantum features working in it, as uh, certainly Roger Penrose and Stuart Hammerhoff and others believe, but it's certainly got processes which lie outside of the scale of normal Newtonian functioning or outside the scale of medium-sized objects moving at medium speed, which means that, um, that we won't be able to understand it in the same way. We can understand it undoubtedly but not in the way we understand the printing press.